Now this PowerPoint will describe our use of the bend closed catheter, RF catheter, how we do it, uh, what we think the advantages of this catheter are, and uh, how to avoid uh, possible complications when using this catheter. Now some of the advantages of using a bend closed catheter are the following. There's less operative time, less bruising, less post-operative pain, there's easier manipulation of the catheter, you can deliver energy to just to the distal 2.5 centimeters only. Now, this is uh, really a nice uh, technique to use when you have short segments or small perforators that you have to treat with uh, short distances in the perforator. You can also inject foam through the distal tip of the catheter, which I think is another useful adjunct. Now, the possible disadvantages include cost. However, most insurance companies do reimburse uh, a little bit more for the UCRF catheter. There has been reported to be uh, increased incidence of HEX or heat induced thrombus at the junction when they use the RF catheter. However, the incidence of EHEX and recanalization is zero in our hands. And I think it's because of the two techniques that we're going to show you the compression of the junction when firing a catheter, as well as the overlapping of the treatment of the vein itself. Now, this is the uh, vein closed catheter, RF catheter that we use, 10 centimeters uh, in length, um, burn length. We like this catheter. It's easy to use, easy to manipulate. Uh, it's a little bit more burn area than the other catheters. And another good trick to this that we like, sometimes you can, can't get up just where you want it. We can use foam sclerotherapy. We can put it right here. And we can actually inject foam sclerotherapy through the tip of this catheter. Let me show you that in a minute. You see right there, so we can put some foam up where we want it in case we can't get to the desired area, or we can put foam into a branch. So it's kind of a neat little trick to, to learn how to use. Now I'm going to put the catheter in. I'll show you on ultrasound how we prevent EHEX from forming because we're going to be compressing a junction. So we'll show you after we get the catheter in and tumescent how we prevent the uh, EHEX. And we've done, uh, in the last 100 RS we've done, there has not been one uh, uh, heat-induced thrombus, and we think that is probably from uh, how we compress the junction. Okay. Okay, now we, you can see right here the needle. Put a little bit more tumescent in. Make sure we're nice and numb. We're going to go up, and then when we fire this, I'm going to put pressure right on the junction. Here's the junction. I'm going to put pressure there, keep the bubbles out of the junction. So this is how you prevent the EHEX from occurring. You can see there's a catheter. There's going to be the compression at the junction. Okay. Now here's the junction. Up here again is the catheter. We're going to fire compression at the junction. And you're going to see the little bubbles in there. But you see they're out of the junction. You got it completely closed off, so the bubbles can't go down the junction. All right. Good. Now, when we do this, uh, when we do the vein close, I use, uh, I do a drawback of three. One, two, three. That's where I stop. So I do a little bit of overlap, you know, overlapping in a treatment. I think it gives you a better result. And we just turn it on. We want to see it go below 1.9 watts per centimeter. You can see over here on your screen. It's down below 1.9 for over three seconds, so that's good. Okay, good. That's fine. 